absolutely. There's definitely talk about it. Uh, it's an issue that we understand. And, uh, it's it's definitely up front and foremost something uh, we plan on correcting, and we are uh, working day by day to get better. Absolutely. What comes to mind when you hear about Alabama? Are you scared? Are you worried about this weekend? Are you intimidated at all going into the game? No, it excites me. Uh, I think a lot of times people get intimidated by certain teams, and for us, it's just another nameless, faceless opponent. And we gotta come in, prepare, and we gotta go out and play next week, just like any other year. The confidence level against a team like Alabama has it improved over the last year, based on what y'all accomplished the last calendar year, particularly against Alabama last season. I think our, our team confidence as a whole period and just the dynamic of our team is a lot different than last year. And yeah, I do think we're a confident team and we played well against them last year, but then again, that was Team 119 and we do have a completely different dynamic to our team and we feel like we should fare well. LaTroy, uh, Derek Barnett had that, I guess you called a pass breakup when he was home on with through a seer. What did you think of that player? Are you guys worried that he's going to go and try to play cornerback now, or kind of what was he saying when he got to the sideline after that play? I think Derek, Derek, think he got Darrell Revis now. He got Barnett <laughs> Island, but uh, no, nah. hey, he's a ball player. Uh, I mean, that's that's what big time ball players do, and it's also a testament to our our nickel safety and corner to be able to adjust and adjust with him on the fly. And uh, he did a good good job. We got a look that uh, that was problematic, and he problem solved in seconds. And that's what good football players do. Was it kind of one of those things where he makes that play and, and you're thinking, is there anything that he can't do at this point? <laughs> I mean, for, for me, I don't think that because I, I could see him work. I see him work at it when we uh, go do coverage drills or, or we drop him back. It, it's not it's not something he just walk through because, oh, I'm not dropping that much. Uh, he takes it all seriously, so I, I, I do have the confidence to see him go out there and guard anybody. Troy, as a team, sat down and try to figure out what's causing the slow starts and how to overcome it. Definitely. Uh, that's something we, we would like to bring that second half into the first half, definitely. And uh, for us, it's about playing our brand of football and doing it for four quarters, something we know we're capable of. And uh, we, we really want to work on getting onto a fast start and, and maintain that through the entire game. Detroit, this will be the second true freshman quarterback you guys face this year is is there a difference when you face a true freshman on the field that are they you know they slow in their progressions or do you guys even think about that during game planning during the week or anything? Oh uh, you think about it and, and that's where film study comes into play and you want to get watch as much film as possible and really really study those guys because especially with uh, players like quarterbacks you can tell in uh, mannerisms and the way they, uh, the way the offensive line is taken to the cadence and different things like that. You can tell the difference from a younger to a second, third, fourth year quarterback. And um, film study, that's what give those things away. And hopefully uh, we can take advantage of those things. Troy, I know you, you grew up in Ohio, but you've been here five years now. What do you think this Alabama-Tennessee game is in terms of the list of rivals that Tennessee faces? And I know uh, Nick Saban said a couple weeks ago he thought Tennessee was Alabama's greatest rival. Right. I mean, Tennessee, yeah, yeah. Right, I, for me, I mean, Northern Boy, Ohio, State, Michigan, that's what I was all uh, talking my whole life. And then I got down here to the South, and it was just kind of like, is there any other game besides Tennessee, man? Uh, so just the understanding and uh, importance of this game, first of all, when we want to know this week, because that's what we play, and just also uh, the rivalry in itself and what people before us have put into it.